In 1979, the post office launched a new service heralded as a breakthrough for British technology. It was Prestel, the world's first videotech system. By using a domestic television, a telephone, and a special adapter like this one here, for a small subscription it was possible to dial into mainframe computers from your armchair. The instructions could be sent simply by pressing the keys of push-button telephones like this, which were then just coming into use. The numbers selected options from a menu on the screen. Now, even today, when most people use a computer to access the system, Prestel still uses numbers, not words, to navigate through the pages of information. This, we were told, was the start of an information revolution. But despite its world lead, Prestel, Prestel failed to take off as planned. One area, though, where it has proved successful is the high street travel agent. The travel industry was quick to see the benefits and right from the start was eager to join in. Today, travel dominates Prestel, accounting for 17% of business users. Um, what I'll do is I'll check the availability for you. I'll get through into our yeah. system and uh, we'll see what's available. It will check a week either side. Using Prestel, travel agents can book package holidays, flights direct with airline computers around the world, ferries, hire cars, hotels. They can even check visa and currency regulations. With Prestel terminals on travel agents' counters in virtually every high street in Britain, the travel industry has shown how video text can be made to run at a profit. However, it took Prestel some years to recognise that this use of the technology offered the blueprint for commercial success. After two years, the lessons learned with the travel industry changed the whole concept of Prestel. Any attempt to sell the service as a mass home information system was scrapped. Instead, the now profit-sensitive British Telecom focused attention on commercial markets, specialist business areas which could earn money. Today, there are more than 300,000 pages of Prestel information, ranging from train times to share prices. Farmers have FarmLink offering farm management services. There's the microcomputing service with games, news and electronic mailboxes as an education service for schools, home banking, and launched this week is Telecard, a home grocery shopping and delivery service. But there are still only 60,000 Prestel users in Britain, and half of them are in business. And even among information providers, there are those who think Prestel has failed. This is the quiet village of Harpenden in Hertfordshire. The Manor Pharmacy is the nerve centre of an electronic news and information service for Britain's chemists. On Farm has been set up by pharmacist Idris Hughes. We're looking at product information from companies manufacturing drugs. We're looking at technical information about products issued either by the companies who make the drugs or from official sources of information. We're looking at news. We're putting up prices, current trade information, very, very broad spectrum of information. With more than 600 pages of specialist information, a map of what's available is essential. It shows chemists how to move around the Prestel pages to locate the specific information they need. And it's when complex information like this is presented that some people claim the technical shortcomings of Prestel start to show. Mr Hughes has been using Prestel for three years now. Is he happy with its performance? Not entirely. We, we're very happy with the, the vehicle that we have in Prestel um, being accessible right across the country, 24 hours a day, at really quite a low cost, that we feel uh, it could be better. In what way? We feel that technically it could offer the, the user better facilities, which would in turn give the information provider better tools to put information together. And I, I feel it could be widely promoted um, to the business community and the professional bodies much more than it is being done. Here's an example of how the layers of menus on Prestel can frustrate and delay users. Let me show you how we would find information about, say, South Africa for uh, the prevention of malaria from an alert service. This is the first page, which is an introductory page. I can jump straight to the menu for the service and we're interested in the malarious areas and their monographs, which is item six in blue, halfway down the page. And I key six to give me the alphabet divided into four blocks down in the yellow panel. And I've got to key five to give me N to T. And now 
on the right at the top there you'll see South Africa 49 and there I am at my page the monograph the information I want about South Africa now to get there I've had to make several key presses what I'd really like to be able to do is to type malaria and South Africa I get the impression that over the two years that you've been working with Prestel, you started with great enthusiasm, but now you're, you're a bit disillusioned. Yes, we, we are a, a bit disillusioned. We, we feel Prestel could have developed the technology further, and we feel they could have promoted Prestel. Hmm. But it is possible to succeed with public video techs. Although late to the game, the French approach the idea from a totally different angle. And this is their system. It's called Teletel. There are already more than a million terminals in use in France. There'll be three million by the end of the year. Teletel has created a French terminal industry where none existed before, and it's now beginning to win export orders. Now, one of the reasons for Teletel's success is that it provides a service which people really do have a real use for, an efficient directory inquiries. This terminal here is connected to the uh, National French Directory Inquiry computer in Brittany, which contains 23 million phone numbers. I just want one of them. Here's the inquiry page. And what I'm after is the phone number of British Airways. How am I doing there? Yes. Where's the Y? There we are. British Airways, next line down. Uh, rubrique, now you use that if you want to use the yellow pages facility. Uh, that means occupation or service. I'm not going to use that at the moment, so down to locality. It's British Airways, but of course we're in France, long distance. So it's got to be Paris. Send and off we go. The amazing thing about this is that that was enough information to get me the British Airways phone number. Uh, in, in the same way, if I hadn't actually known the name at all, I'd just known the full address, it would have also given me the phone number and filled in the gaps of uh, my information. And you see there, as well as British Airways, I've also got British Caledonian Airways. Now, that's not because this computer is so clever that it thinks, oh, great, we'll give her an alternative airline. But it does see that those two names are so similar, I could have made a mistake, so it gives me both numbers. Now, also, up here, an arrow, that indicates that British Airways is actually actually paid to put on uh, a further page of information. There it is. What do they give you? There we are. Just extra numbers for uh, passengers, for freight, and for the head office. All in all, very useful, very easy to use. And this is the marvellous thing. The whole system has been designed to be very quick and very easy to use, even if you don't know anything about computing. Of course, Prestel is not a direct equivalent of Minitel or the Teletel system. It doesn't replace the phone book. But I can use this system to find Prestel's own phone numbers. This is typical of how you find information on Prestel. Well, let's be fair, Leslie asked for Paris, so I'll ask for the London number. Here we are, key nine to find your local telephone number for Prestel. Sounds easy enough. Nine. Now, each of these screens takes about six seconds to load. All this verbiage here is just to explain that it's organised alphabetically. Uh, that'll take a couple of minutes to read, but the bit I need down here is this. Press 1 for exchange list, which I now do. Remember, it's the London number we're looking for. Now, I've got options again. Uh, 1, 2 or 3. Well, it's alphabetical, so L is between G and R, so that's number 2. Another six seconds wait. And what? London. No sign of it, uh, but it is must be between Landweichli and Lower Beeding, so that's 17. And no London here either, but it must be in there, number 7, I hope. Ah yes, there it comes, London 01. 618. That's the number I wanted. Well, all the time I was on that, the, uh, plus the couple of minutes I spared you at the beginning, my phone bill was clocking up. But not so with Teletel. The first three minutes of any directory inquiry call is free, and the French telephone service is giving away the actual equipment. Now, it sounds mad, doesn't it? But they calculate that the savings on operators, on printing and distribution of phone books, coupled with the increased revenue from calls generated by Teletel, will cover the cost of the terminals in four years.
After that, it's profit all the way. And it gets better. Because there are so many people on the system, other companies are eager to join by providing information. This earns revenue for the telephone authority with increased calls, generates income for the information providers, and then further fuels the whole enthusiasm for Teletel, which is sweeping France. The chat pages, for instance, where high-tech heavy breathers communicate are already very popular, with one company making around £60,000 a month. Teletel is being installed in French homes at a rate of more than 10,000 a week. So there we have it. It's taken uh, us in Britain six years to achieve what the French seem to be pulling off in just six weeks.